Only a few months ago, Mercedes's truck division said if the Tesla Semi was real, then it defied the laws of physics. If you haven't seen my video about that, you need to see it. I'll put a link in the description below. That's literally a direct quote from Mercedes. Mercedes actually invests a lot more money into EVs than Tesla does. In fact, three times as much, which sounds absolutely insane. But the great thing is for them, they're all in on EVs. They've been blasted by the German media. The German media say that they're insane. They shouldn't be all, all in on EVs. It's a, it's a recipe for disaster. I can give you hundreds of instances of the German media criticizing Mercedes, telling them this is the wrong thing to do. But clearly Mercedes say, no, we're right and you're wrong. EV only by 2030. And this is working well for them. They're increasing their EV sales significantly. But they're aware that they do have some significant challenges. The efficiency of their cheaper EVs is absolutely horrendous in comparison to Tesla's electric cars. Therefore, they're hoping their F1 team can save their butts. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Stephen Loveday says that Tesla over the years have proven its EVs are some of the top choices on the market when it comes to efficiency. I just made a video showing the difference in efficiency comparison between Tesla's Model Y and other electric cars. Mercedes are not even on the list because the EQA ranks so badly. In fact, I did a comparison, 21 different EVs and their efficiency. It was based on a European car test where they compared 21 different cars. and It was probably the best electric car test ever done in the history of mankind. I'll put a link in the description to that video. You absolutely should watch it because it's fascinating to see. In Europe, they test cars in a far greater way than anywhere else in the world. They'll test them all, all on the same day, all under the same conditions, in cold temperatures, in normal temperatures, on the same roads. They do it in such a brilliant way to give you a really good idea of how cars are compared directly. And the Mercedes EQA was disastrous. It came last against products, many of them were cheaper. One of the key reasons for this is it's not a dedicated electric car platform. It has a transmission tunnel for a transmission. Obviously it doesn't have a transmission, it's an EV. Uh, things like that, it was a compromise vehicle. Mercedes's luxury cars are fantastic. Their luxury EVs are great, but they're still, they, Mercedes still say, you know what, they can be a lot better. And they have some interesting technological innovations that are coming soon, including they're very small and very powerful compact electric motors. Now, I made a video about that one as well. I'll put a link in the description to that. Now, most luxury rivals electric vehicles of Tesla aren't as frugal. They're not as efficient and they're not as quick either as Tesla's vehicles. Now, the Model S is the most efficient vehicle in the world. That's been proven numerous times in European car tests where they test all cars in the same conditions on the same day. However, Mercedes-Benz has a tool it may be able to use, it believes to change that. And it's planning to invest big time in beating Tesla's efficiency records. Now, you've probably seen all the headlines, oh, this Mercedes vehicle did this amazing efficiency thing, rah, rah, rah. It's, it's not really relevant if it's just a concept car. It's a great marketing tool and it's good for development. They can use it to develop their future products. But if it's a concept car, then there's not a whole lot of relevancy to it. You probably see this kind of stuff because the media loves showing this kind of stuff. I mean, Mercedes-Benz pays lots of money for marketing, as, as Toyota does. The truth when it comes down to it though, is Tesla is still significantly far ahead when it comes to efficiency and power. However, in order to speed up electric vehicle development times, all while increasing efficiency to Tesla's levels, Mercedes aims to enlist its Formula One racing team into the engineering process. According to Reuters, by following this path, the German luxury automaker believes it can produce highly efficient mass market EVs and reduce development times by a quarter. That's a big difference. Mercedes Chief Technology Officer Marcus Schaefer said this, we have an edge with Formula One that others don't have. Tesla doesn't have it. Other teams don't have it. Don't know about you, but I lost interest in Formula One a few years ago. To me, Formula E is way more relevant. I mean, is the future of the automotive industry even remotely relevant to Formula One, really? 
hybrids, super highly stressed engines, hybrid V6 engines. I mean, I don't, I don't really see how this is the future of the automotive industry. So it doesn't really interest me. What I'm more interested in is how electric cars will change the world. And I think Mercedes is, is understanding that too, but I'm not really sure how they're going to get some great kind of um, advantage from their Formula One team. But here's what they said. Mercedes have brought several compelling EVs to market, and there are many more in the pipeline. However, it doesn't yet have a more efficient option than the Tesla Model 3. Tesla's electric sedan, as well as its crossover cousin, the Model Y, have taken sales away from luxury automakers, gas-powered cars and SUVs, including Mercedes, but that could stand to change if brands like Mercedes can bring competing models to market sooner rather than later at compelling prices though. I mean, not everyone can afford an expensive Mercedes. So what they need to do is what they're focusing on is improving the efficiency of their more affordable EVs. If they can do that, they can put a smaller battery pack in, right? That will mean that you'll get the same range with a smaller battery pack. It will cost them less to manufacture Therefore, they can make a profit selling it to you or reduce the price to compete with Tesla. That's what they want to do. Mercedes showed off its ridiculously efficient EQX X concept car last year, says Stephen Loveday from Inside EVs, which he claimed could travel 1,200 kilometers or 745 miles on a single charge, which it seems like it can. Interestingly, though, it was developed in partnership with Mercedes' Formula One team, and it took only 18 months to develop. This is a bit of a marketing misnomer, though, because there's many EVs that can do about twice the range that you think they can. They really can. If you give them the right circuit and if you hypermile them. If you hypermile any car, you'll find you can massively improve the range figures, even if those range figures were exaggerated to begin with. That's actually true. Google hypermiling, you'll see what I mean. However, as more shorts and more legacy brands and emerging startups bring EVs to market, it's becoming a race to make a car more efficient because it massively reduces the cost to manufacture them. Whichever companies can produce compelling EVs with respectable ranges, reasonable prices, and rights availability stand to come ahead. And that's why Tesla is succeeding today. Its vehicles have smaller battery packs than its competitors with the same range, meaning it costs Tesla less to manufacture them. So if Mercedes can utilize its Formula One team, bring that engineering talent over and use them to help make their vehicles more efficient, that would be a game-changing advantage for them. Mercedes has plans to use some of its Formula One team's engineers to develop concepts for a brand new purpose-built EV platform that will begin production surprisingly in 2024. Now, that's just pure fantasy. If they're saying they're, they're bringing them over now and somehow it's going to magically hit production next year, I think that's exaggeratory. Uh, maybe it will be produced in very small numbers at the end of 2024. Maybe that's what they're saying. Anyway, what they plan on doing is making the cars more aerodynamic and using some of the powertrain and software components from the EQXX concept car. Adam Alsop, a HPP Advanced Technology Director, was the man who helped Mercedes get the EQXX project off the ground. He says that making more efficient EVs allows automakers to use smaller batteries, which reduces weight and reduces cost. Not to mention it's better for the environment, he said. Just throwing batteries at something is not an intelligent solution. If you find clever ways to achieve the same range, it's better for customers, car makers, and the planet. The EQXX is proof Mercedes and its Formula One team have what it takes to make this future plan happen, says Stephen. It has a battery that's half the size of the one in the Mercedes EQS SUV, and it's able to travel over 700 miles using about 8.3 kilowatt hours of energy per 100 kilometers traveled. Meanwhile, the Tesla Model 3 uses about 16 kilowatt hours of energy, according to Reuters in the real world. I think it's closer to 15. But that example is bizarre in the most extreme. I mean, the EQXX only does that under extremely perfect conditions, get the right wind, the right temperatures, hyper mile, and that's the range you'll get. It's not a real world figure and it's completely bogus to claim that it's in any way relevant in comparing it to a Tesla Model 3, not to mention it costs you around $300,000 to buy one of them. However, can Mercedes improve the efficiency of their cars? Absolutely, and they will based on a lot of the things that I've mentioned in previous videos, including making their electric motors smaller and more efficient, improving the battery technology, which they're working on, and also improving that the electronics, 
I mean, for example, a lot of Mercedes EVs don't currently come with a heat pump. They've only just made them standard in some of the most expensive EVs that they sell. That's one way they can improve the efficiency. But Mercedes are looking at everything across the board here to improve efficiency of their future products. They know that they have to do this. They know that Tesla, whilst many of you might say not a competitor to Mercedes because everyone says, no, 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 Mercedes a luxury, Tesla's not. Actually, Mercedes will disagree with you on that point. They've claimed many times that Tesla is a direct competitor and they need to compete with them. Therefore, they're investing, like I said, billions of dollars into making their EVs more efficient. And I personally think that's great news because the more they invest, the more we all benefit. Competition is awesome. Now, Mercedes plan to use a motor called an axial flux motor. And I've spoken about that in my other video where I talk about the Mercedes' new motor technology. That will significantly help them improve their efficiency in their next generation of electric vehicles. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye-bye.